KBLP LLC. Check us out on iHeart, Speaker, YouTube, iTunes, Spotify. With the best podcasters in the business, Denise Harris, Chris Stevens, Michelle Auger, Ike Diaz, Desiree Pickett, Anissa Nicole, Cecilia Flores, Lolita Diaz. Sponsored by TBS303.com. We are also looking for new podcasters. Inbox any of our podcasters or me ideas directly on Facebook and someone will get back with you ASAP. KBLP LLC. Check us out on iHeart, Speaker, YouTube, iTunes, Spotify. With the best podcasters in the business, Denise Harris, Chris Stevens, Michelle Auger, Ike Diaz, Desiree Pickett, Anissa Nicole, Cecilia Flores, Lolita Diaz. Sponsored by TBS303.com. We are also looking for new podcasters. Inbox any of our podcasters or me ideas directly on Facebook and someone will get back with you ASAP. Up on the block, and you know that I just want to come and get a taste of it. Five, two, eighty, we shoot it. Coming up in that room with a clip, emptying like all of it. Dropping them bitches all up in the ditch. Yeah, that's just what I got to do. 3 a.m., I'm doing it, fool. Yeah, I got a Glock and I cock it back. And you know, I hit up in the room, I'ma do, I'ma do that straight, riding slow. 5 2 80, that's where I go. Drop them bombs, and you know, I disarm car alarms, and then I go. Yeah, buddy, back in this bitch, just couldn't never that baby. Show, mom, good animal, baby. OC can't stop it. No, cop jock, yo, gotta keep it poppin'. No, don't stop the hoe. The only money goes close, oh, so damn ladies with sexy toes. Haters don't stress me so, just like the joke. Pussy beats and flow, gotta keep it tight for show, show, show. Gotta hate night the show. Facebook and like me, ho. Y'all was keeping rights, no, no, no. I was keeping rights, no, 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 no. Listening to the jam with Ike Dog. 
You're listening to The Jam with Ike Dog. You're listening to the jam with Ike Dog. You're listening to the jam with Ike Dog. KBLP LLC. Check us out on iHeart, Speaker, YouTube, iTunes, Spotify. With the best podcasters in the business Denise Harris, Chris Stevens, Michelle Auger, Ike Diaz, Desiree Pickett, Anissa Nicole, Cecilia Flores, Lolita Diaz. Sponsored by TBS303.com. We are also looking for new podcasters. Inbox any of our podcasters or me, Ike Diaz, directly on Facebook and someone will get back with you ASAP. Filthy fat. The bomb click. Tbeats303.com Spooky T on the beats. Shout out to Ike Dog. Ike Two Guns. Shorty Loke. Demo wise guys, mile high wise guys, about to get you all wise down. down there ain't no down, friends down, in this building, down, we knew that from the beginning, but people seem to be tripping, cause I can't make no millions. There ain't nothing but cutthroats, that's when I learned not to rock your boat. People seem to be high off hope, 5,000 for one note. I wish I had that kind of bank, bro, when you be on my tape, bro. I hear homies come and go, you can stay with I dog, I hit the dough. I told you bitches you crazy, people get shady. It doesn't matter if 5G's or 2 pennies, but they want they money. People cry for jump chains. I wish Growing up back in the days, I should have knew which where we headed. But seems that I neglected to keep the truth in front of me. Now I gotta make this delivery. Two grips of COC and I and E. And that ain't enough to make my payment back G. These muscles are going off, making a million B. And there ain't no stopping me. I dog. He's about to get you all wised out. Chino Respect Rodriguez. United AWO Radio. Let me get a motherfucking AWO. 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 I dog for real. I dog league. Chino respect, damn the wise guys, 303 on your face, 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 On a rampage, only 25 years of age, ain't tryna get locked up in the cage, cause I wanna really get paid. Well, it's in my rage on the stage, y'all ain't ready for this rampage show. Loke is the dog that's coming down, now I'm remaining the same, maintaining these veins, tryna steal my fame. fame. Damn, it's a shame how I came to the game, unlike the rest. I beat the test, smoking on the best in the wild, wild west, where we ripping away your vest off your chest. Yes, I'm a beast coming from the E. Looking outside in, and I'm starting to spin. And I'm getting in a twist, and I'm flowing like the wind. And I'm hitting your mic like I'm hitting your son. Now you better start to run, cause I'm shooting this gun with the venom from my tongue. Invading your lungs, I'm collapsing your body. And now he's about to get you all wised out. Chino Respect Rodriguez, United AWO Radio. Let me get a motherfucking AWO. I dog for real. I dog league. Chino respect, Demo Wise Guys, 303 on your face. You're listening to the jam with Ike Dog. You're listening to the jam with Ike Dog. KBLP LLC. Check us out on iHeart, Speaker, YouTube, iTunes, Spotify. With the best podcasters in the business, Denise Harris. 
Chris Stevens, Michelle Auger, Ike Diaz, Desiree Pickett, Anissa Nicole, Cecilia Flores, Lolita Diaz. Sponsored by TBS303.com. We are also looking for new podcasters. Inbox any of our podcasters or me, Ike Diaz, directly on Facebook, and someone will get back with you ASAP. KBLP LLC. Check us out on iHeart, Speaker, YouTube, iTunes, Spotify. With the best podcasters in the business Denise Harris, Chris Stevens, Michelle Auger, Ike Diaz, Desiree Pickett, Anissa Nicole, Cecilia Flores, Lolita Diaz. Sponsored by TBS303.com. We are also looking for new podcasters. Inbox any of our podcasters or me, Ike Diaz, directly on Facebook and someone will get back with you ASAP. So soft. When you try to get some sleep and you doze off, we hit the streets and we go mob. You can see the flames coming from the exhaust. We get something different to the game. We under the city lights and we switch it in the lanes. You're still on your kitty bike, man, you're such a lame. You remain the same while we go against the grain. That's where we increase the speed limit. My 
Jumping in that horse cover, someone like see you. That's it, man, you're such a gimmick. And me, you try to mimic. While I'm rocking my D-Town pivot, I'm so ambitious. Why won't I put the key in the ignition? Yeah. Rolling over the competition with my driven vision. Cloud for control of my path, I'm moving different. This is an addiction. Why you can't pass emissions? Cause you say in the same position by blowing the transmission. What the missing in you shifting? The way I make the competition disappear. I should be a magician. The one against I dog and man was chopper was a bad decision. You're listening to the jam with Ike Dog. You're listening to the jam with Ike Dog. KBLP LLC. Check us out on iHeart, Speaker, YouTube, iTunes, Spotify. With the best podcasters in the business Denise Harris, Chris Stevens, Michelle Auger, Ike Diaz, Desiree Pickett, Anissa Nicole, Cecilia Flores, Lolita Diaz. Sponsored by TBS303.com. We are also looking for new podcasters. Inbox any of our podcasters or me, Ike Diaz, directly on Facebook and someone will get back with you ASAP. KBLP LLC. Check us out on iHeart, Speaker, YouTube, iTunes, Spotify. With the best podcasters in the business. Denise Harris, Chris Stevens, Michelle Auger, Ike Diaz, Desiree Pickett, Anissa Nicole, Cecilia Flores, Lolita Diaz. Sponsored by TBS303.com. We are also looking for new podcasters. Inbox any of our podcasters or me, Ike Diaz, directly on Facebook and someone will get back with you ASAP. You're listening to The Jam with Ike Dog. You're listening to The Jam with Ike Dog. In the city of smoke, in the city of smoke, in the 
Listening to the jam with Ike Dog. You're listening to the jam with Ike Dog. KBLP LLC. Check us out on iHeart, Speaker, YouTube, iTunes, Spotify. With the best podcasters in the business Denise Harris, Chris Stevens, Michelle Auger, Ike Diaz, Desiree Pickett, Anissa Nicole, Cecilia Flores, Lolita Diaz. Sponsored by TBS303.com. We are also looking for new podcasters. Inbox any of our podcasters or me, Ike Diaz, directly on Facebook and someone will get back with you ASAP. KBLP LLC. Check us out on iHeart, Speaker, YouTube, iTunes, Spotify. With the best podcasters in the business, Denise Harris, Chris Stevens, Michelle Auger, Ike Diaz, Desiree Pickett, Anissa Nicole, Cecilia Flores, Lolita Diaz. Sponsored by TBS303.com. We are also looking for new podcasters. Inbox any of our podcasters or me, Ike Diaz, directly on Facebook and someone will get back with you ASAP. You're listening to The Jam with Ike Dog. You're listening to The Jam with Ike Dog. Get live with Ike Diaz on KBLP. Al Al C. It goes down to Jam. I'm doing just uh, some some Ike Dog, old school Ike Dog tracks. You know what I'm saying? One of them is actually a new one that's not complete yet. That's going to be on the new album. When the book and the CD and the the documentary movie, whatever you want to call it, comes out. I'm just running through this because we had some technical difficulties on Saturday. And the sound didn't come out completely right. So I'm making sure that we uh, don't have that problem before we do our next podcast, guys. Because we're doing these live podcasts now. And they are so cool and they are interesting. And they are great to listen to guys they're awesome so real quick what i wanted to talk to you about was i'm going to be doing a tutorial so if you do get to listen to this i know we just posted it if you do get to listen to this i was going to try i'm trying to do it tonight i'm going to be doing a tutorial on youtube on how to access speaker completely because we have a lot of people who are not uh signing in and not uh, um, interacting with us on the comment section. And I've had a lot of complaints about that because people think it when I tag them or whatever, they think it's a virus. They think it's spam. They don't realize that it's an actual podcast. So, so we're, we're having a, a, a ton of problems with that. Like I, I've gotten over a thousand emails um, from people who actually, you know, um, wondering what's going on, you know, when, when I'm tagging them or how do the, how do they log in? Is it that, you know, they're worried if it's a virus, if some, if their Facebook's going to get hacked, if their Twitter's going to get hacked, it's, it's not a virus. Uh, it's a, it's a podcasting platform that we all podcast from. There's, there's, uh, over 200, a quarter million users on there. And there has never been one problem with anybody getting their Facebook or Twitter hacked. The thing is, is that everybody thinks they have to sign in with their password and email. You don't. You just bypass that. So if you if you're coming in through Twitter, you just hit the Twitter. If you're coming in through Facebook, you just hit the Facebook and it takes you directly in. It logs you in as yourself. That's all it does. It's really it's really simple. So I'm going to do a tutorial on YouTube. So make sure you check that out. It's going to be pretty interesting. Uh, You can check that out on ideas live. And I'll probably run it over on KBLP LLC four. That's the podcasting station. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in both places. That way everybody could check it out. That way, um, you if you have any concerns, um, you 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 could see how it works, how easily it works, and how easily you could um, connect connect to us so that you could chat with the podcasters. Because I've talked to several pro- pro- our, um, listeners who listen to like encounters or the freaks in the basement 
and they want to go they want to they want to interact with those in chains you know um they want to interact and they just don't know how to actually log in and it's not really it's really not a login process all you got to do is click the link when it, when you get tagged and like i said when you get tagged just if you're from twitter or if you're from facebook you just hit either one of those and you're in i always uncheck the box it says uh, do you want to be saved i always uncheck those boxes i don't like those boxes but like i said um it's not a virus guys so don't worry about that and like i said if um you feel like it's spam just get a hold of me and let me know because we we tag like thousands of people uh, uh excuse me a day between oh uh, excuse me we were eating pizza tonight we we tag thousands of people between the you know the the promoters we got we got four or five promoters that promote um seven days a week uh 30 days out of the month uh 365 days of the year there's always a promoter promoting um if i'm if i'm not at it i know somebody else is at it so we always have somebody at it and not not only that we have the podcasters who who get on the ball and they get going with that so make sure like i said if you have any problems with that uh, i'm hoping to get a call in here from uh vlad brad the world of vlad brad who will be live Saturday with his podcast. Um, we just, I'm going to do a test run real quick with him because like I said, Saturday, um, the vocals didn't come out for some reason. Uh, Michelle, uh, I was talking to Michelle Auger, one of the other podcasters. She does Ecto. She does, um, the planet B.O.B. bug out bag. Uh, make sure you check into that. Um, she was saying she was already running into that problem. So, and it's funny is because I use a mixer and uh, uh, not just the mixer on the on this on the uh, the studio the speaker studio. I use a separate mixer that I connect to the uh, computer so that uh, I could put the any I can have. I've had up to seven people on a podcast before, and I've never had a problem. Everybody comes out clearly. Everybody comes out leveled. It, it levels itself, and for some reason this Saturday. It was just me and uh, Zach. That's the world of Vlad Brad. We were doing the podcast, and it wouldn't. It didn't come out right. It uh, something. I don't know. Something went wrong. Like uh, on his, the voice was real low. I can hear him crystal clear on my end. I can hear him crystal clear in the speakers and everything. Going through, going through the whole setup. I checked everything. All the all the levels were fine. Everything was fine. So um, I don't know what the deal was on that. So hopefully, like I said, he's supposed to be giving me a call tonight and uh, hopefully get it figured out. And uh, uh, since I'm doing this right now, maybe I'll wait till tomorrow to do that tutorial. That way, everybody, if because we get a lot of listeners later. So, uh, excuse me. Stephanie. What was it? I didn't see the last name. I think it was Rodriguez, guys. I think we have a Stephanie Rodriguez who follows us. She just said hi. See, I get, I have to get those messages through my inbox because they won't, they won't go over into the chat. It's the craziest thing. So the whole time I'm podcasting, I hear, I hear, ding, 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 ding. It beeps every time it hits my, my messenger. So hi, Stephanie Rodriguez. Check out the tutorial that I'll be doing um, tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and do it tomorrow. I was gonna do it tonight. That way, uh, more people could listen to this and they could check it out. Um, so, speaker, if you do listen to our podcast at all, I know you guys don't. You guys have so many. Um, uh, I sent an email to you guys uh, about doing the tutor tutorial on 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 logging in because of all the complaints we've had, all the issues with it. Um, so, you guys should get an email. If you want to respond to it, let me know. If you want to be part of me doing this tutorial, let me know as soon as possible. And, you know, maybe we could put your brand on the uh, YouTube video. That way YouTube knows that our speaker, that way everybody knows speakers, um, you know, trying to help uh, their their podcasters um, produce their content. You know what I mean? So their content comes out better. So we get more people in the chat and more people uh more people communicate with us through the chat instead of having to go through our messengers or our emails or that's how we're, that's how we have, um, 
that's how we have that pe everybody listening to us is through is that's how we communicate with everybody everybody we communicate b because we have to get our messages through through messenger or we have to get our messages through email so we we sit here and we hear the beeps the whole time during our podcast when they can easily be in the chat and um you know we could we could uh communicate right back and forth with everybody because speaker knows we have a ton of listeners so speak i don't think speaker would mind you know i think speaker would be uh behind it so that's why i sent them sent them the email um and hopefully you know they respond to me you know i i doubt they will you know they're like i said they they have a quarter million podcasters so we're just a we're just a a blink on their radar but we're one of their highest rated podcasts so um hopefully like their independent podcast we're one of their highest rated ones so hopefully they they um <clears throat> excuse me hopefully they they'll they'll at least acknowledge us so we know that they we know that they know that what we're, what we're trying to do as far as working on a tutorial to get this to get this going a little better so that people can listen better. So tonight you listen to Ike Dog running it. It's Ike, Ike Dog, Youngie, who's in Florida now. Uh, Spooky T, TBS303.com. The second one was Ike Dog. I represent for Colorado. That's one of my favorite tracks, guys. That song's a that song's a hit song. Like it's like <laughs> it's only one verse too. It's only one verse. Let me go back to the Ike Dog Run and I'm going to give you some history on that. I don't know. I'm breathing all crazy tonight. I took a shower earlier and it was all hot. So, so I'm, I'm going to give you some history on Ike Dog Run and it. So we went. I didn't know about this song. So me and Youngie pull up at the studio. We got my daughter in the car. She's only about, I don't know, 12 years old or so, somewhere around there. And Spook says, well, I got a, I got a, I got a song for us to do. And I'm like, you know, I actually went with two verses. I usually only go with one verse when I go do a song. So I went with two verses and I ended up doing two verses in one, two sixteens. And it was worth it because the song was long. And, it, and the songs, the, it, it actually only came out to 347. The problem, it wasn't that the song was long, is the song, the beat was so fast. And I'm used to, when I go to Spookies, I just get knockers like, doom, doom, ch, doom, doom, ch, doom, doom, ch. So I just have to be like, I'm on the block, straight up on the spot. You know, just, you know, just the lame brain shit. You know what I mean? But with that one, I had to be like, if you listen to it, I'm like, lyrically on that pretty pretty decent you know what i mean he had to kind of speed up my voice a little bit so i could be on beat a little you know a better through the whole song but it wasn't it was just that touch it's not like what these kids do now they do all kinds of uh radioactive shit to get their their music i'm gonna run through that whole set list there's only five songs i'm gonna run through it one more time so i have at least an hour podcast tonight but so we recorded the song. I did two verses. Young E did a verse. Spooky T finished it out with a verse. So we're sitting there. We're sitting there. I'm waiting for Spooky T to mix it down. It's it's still early. It's only about 1030. We knocked this song out quick. We knocked it out in like two hours. Like I went in there. I laid my verses. Boom, boom, boom. They were tripping. I, these, were all, these were all brand new verses. I just wrote them. They were all, you know, solid. And... So I'm sitting there, Spooky's mixing it, and Spooky, I, I knew um, earlier that week he had put up some videos from his new camera, so I was like, why, why don't we shoot the video? You know, let's go shoot the video tonight. Tonight! <laughs> and remind remind you, it's just it's just me, Spooky, Young E, and my daughter. So, you know, Spooky's drinking a little bit, you know what I mean? And, and you know, and I'm kind of like uh, encouraging when people are drinking. <laughs> So I tell Spooky, well, let's bro, man, let's go do this. You know how young E, let's do this. Young E has to get home to his wife later, you know what I'm saying? But Young E was like, oh, all right, man, let's do this. I thought, you know what I'm saying? So so me, Spooky, so Spooky, Young E and I, along with my daughter, go ahead and start filming this, this video. 
We didn't, you know, at, when we first thought about it, I, I got a lot of responses for it. When we, for, when we first did it, I got a lot of responses. Everything was positive. I think I only got like one or two negative ones. And you, what I've noticed about social media is if you don't get like, I know YouTube, it has like 10,000 views or something, 15,000 views. And it has like a hundred and some likes or something, 300, maybe it's 300 likes. And like two dislikes. Uh, you two, if you don't, if you don't get dislikes, people don't think it's real. <laughs> so I'll tell people instead of putting a like on there, I'll say put a dislike on there, please. <laughs> so people think you know it's real. So like even now with the ideas live, I got like uh, you know I've been doing these videos and I got like one one dislike, two dislike, and I got all kind of over hundred like two hundred likes. You know what I mean? And I'm like, shoot, people are going to think that's like, like you're buying them or something. You know what I mean? And I, I don't, I don't have to buy them. People, people put those likes on there. So, and I appreciate it. And I thank you. I'm grateful for it. You know what I mean? So just like here on a, oh, I was on, I was on YouTube uh, the other night. I was doing the chemtrail thing and, and, um, and I said, I said, um, I went, I was, I was so, I was showing my, my, the jam. And I was like, I only had 99 likes on there, right? And I was live, so I was like, will you go, will everybody go over there? Will somebody go over there? Because I want, I want to get to at least 100 likes. Will somebody go over there and put a like? And like within 30 seconds, I had five likes. I went to 105 likes. I got six more likes. So that was pretty cool. Thank you guys who did that, who were listening. So I know people were listening. That was pretty awesome. So I thought running it. Um, my daughter helped shoot part of the video. Uh, she probably don't even remember. It's been so long. See, I keep getting those beeps. I don't know if you guys hear them. Um, it's been so long. She was uh, shooting part of the video. She's actually in the video holding up one of Spooky's posters. She gets flashed in there, and she's wearing my glasses. I got my Lokes. <laughs> she's wearing my glasses, and uh, she's wearing them. And it's pretty cool. It's funny. Now when you see her, she looks totally different. She, she was just a little, she's 11, maybe 11 or 12. I don't know. That's how old that song was because she's, she's older, you know, five years older now. So that was that was some years ago. But it was such a good time filming that, you know. And I would already stopped drinking, so I wasn't drinking, you know what I mean? Young E don't drink, so me and him were sober. Spooky had his vodka getting down. And we did all that in one night. We recorded the track spooky did the beat we recorded the track all the vocals he mixed it down we shot the whole video he mixed down the video did the whole video we were there till about two three in the morning everything was done within five six hours that's the only time we had ever done a song like that kick one out like that because it usually takes sometimes a couple weeks a month sometimes you know sometimes I'm, when I go solo, I can knock out a song all by myself, like that same day. But when I take features over there to Spooky Zit, sometimes we have to come back to finish it up. Something went wrong with the vocals. Uh, one of the rappers didn't have his lyrics ready. So, something always comes up when I bring when I bring features. You know, there's there's a few times like that. Uh, Thug Vatos, I brought. Um, my goddaughter's husband, and he did the chorus line, and I brought PAC, and he did a verse, and we did that whole track in one night. Me, Spooky, PAC, Isaac Galando. So, and it came out good. It came out. That song solid. That sounds really good. I mean, it's it's on YouTube like four times. I think somebody else even reposted it, and it has like. The lowest views is like 20,000 or something like that. So that one got hit pretty hard. I mean, like, like, for, like for us, because we don't, we're not used to getting those kind of numbers on YouTube. You know, we get 500 to a thousand views if we're lucky, you know, and then we're getting, now we're getting songs that are like the city of smoke. I'll get to that one in a minute. <laughs> the city of smoke, that one has like uh 200,000 views or something. And I tripped, you know, because I gave YouTube up, like in two, because I, I got a YouTube in two, my channel in 2012, and I couldn't, I, it was like not going anywhere, not doing nothing. So I, I was like, oh, I'll forget YouTube and I'll, I'll work on something else. So I got into the podcasting, 
and podcasting just took off for us. You know what I mean? I got I was working with a couple podcasting stations. I did some local radio. I did some commercials. I did a bunch of commercials in the nineties. That's all I did was commercials for a local station out here, hip hop station. But that's all I did. I did the commercials for them, and that's where I actually got my start. And then I bought my first radio station in the early 2000s, and the actual station. And I owned it about a year before I sold it. And there was there was just too many problems with licensing and everything. And then the antenna was about 80 foot. You know, we had a, we had a get that thing out every day it was a it was it was a it was a crazy ownership you know but i was uh i was happy with it like i was happy you know back then i used to go on all the time i'd be on from nine in the morning till four at four a.m you know what i'm saying doing interviews playing music i actually had got all kinds of mix cds that I, I would make all these mix cds with my music other people's music and i would just let them play you know back then that's the way I did it, you know, with the CD player plugged into the amplifier that ran the the station. So it was pretty interesting. So that next song that you guys heard was I Dog I Represent for Colorado. I don't remember. I don't remember writing that song. I wrote it. I write all my vocals. I write all my vocals. But that song, I don't remember writing. But. I do. I, I performed it a lot of times because here in Colorado, because it's like, and every time somebody hears that song, they always got to tell me, hey, dog, that, that I represent for Colorado. You should have a full length of that. That song is cold. You know what I mean? So I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. You know what I mean? So I'm going to get over to the the next song that I played was uh, the Ike Dog featuring Shorty Loke and Chino Respect, uh, produced by Spooky T. We went uh, crazy. Um, I was, uh, actually, I spent the, spent Christmas Eve with Shorty Loke, actually. We went running around town. I was driving the big work truck, and we were, we were running around town until about 10.39. His mom made, made a big old feast at the house. She had a... Um, prime rib, all kinds of stuff. It was pretty cool. And Chino Respect, that night we went to go record, that was the first time I'd ever met him in person. He, we, we're, You know, he's like, uh, I want to say about five to ten years younger than me. I'm not sure. So we had never really met. Yeah, he actually lived in the same neighborhood as I did, right off the same street and everything. But we had never came across each other. And then we started talking online. We talked online for like two years. And then I said, well, you know, I'm going to go record this song with Spooky. And, um, I think he was living over that part of town. I was like, Hey man, you want to, you want to come through and do something? You want to come through and check it out and meet up? And then he ended up coming with the verse and did a verse on that, you know? So it was pretty cool. And then Shorty Loke, <sighs> Shorty Loke came. And if you listen to this cat, he sounds like, um, a young pimp C. Um, I remember getting, um, I think before there was a little, um, they had like a five song EP. The first thing UGK put out, uh, pimp C and Bun B. And he sounded just like, um, pimp C shorty Loke. If you listen to the song, go back and listen to it for everybody who listens to this later, or you're just turning in. Or if you, as soon as this is over, go back and listen to Shorty Loke. And he sounds just like a young Pimp C. You'll trip out. When I listen to his voice, I'm like, wow. Because yeah, I, I remember uh, Short Texas or Short Texas. And he sounded like him. It's funny as I heard Pimp C like on two short songs, he did chorus lines on him. And I thought he was a girl first. Like, wait, before I knew it was Pimp C on there, because I had, I had already knew who Pimp C was from UGK, but I didn't know he was doing chorus lines for like all these big name rappers. And when I some of the songs you heard, he did one with like E40, and it was sounded like a girl singing the hook. And I was like, and they were like, nah, nah, that's Pimp C. And I was like, boom. And then it kind of clicked in. Oh yeah, it does sound like Pimp C. This is tight. Because at first I was like, oh, this don't sound that tight. And then 
I found out who it was. I was like, yeah. That's some he so um that's some history on that. Uh Chino Respect Who Dude. One of the first uh, podcast stations. He called me up and said, Hey man, you wanna do some podcasts? And I was like, Oh yeah, sure. And I and I, I did a I was doing like four or five shows on that station. I was doing a, I was doing a lot of shows. It was it was taking off. And then uh somebody made a bad comment to him and then uh you know, I, you know, I backed him up. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, somebody, uh, somebody who was playing like he's an investor. I met this dude before. He's a clown. Told was telling him, you know, at first blow, he was he was well, a gaslighting him or whatever they say. You know what I'm saying? Tell him we'll do this and we'll do that for you. You know what I'm saying? And then he turned around and told him, uh, all your ten list. You know. You know, we, we don't want to deal with you, you and all your 10 listeners. You know what I mean? And, you know, it was it was in the first year or something of his uh, station. So all you're going to have is 10 listeners, you know. I was getting like 100 listeners, but <sighs> I've always had a big following. So people are, people always listen to my whatever I'm doing or, or follow whatever I'm doing. So I always pulled away, had 100, you know, at least, at least 100 listeners every podcast I did. So. I didn't do a podcast if, if I didn't get a hold of, you know, I got 5,000 friends on Facebook. If I can't get 100 listeners, I shouldn't be podcasting. That's the way I see it. So I know that's a bold state, big statement because <laughs> it's hard to get viewers. <laughs> that's why it's uh, the YouTube thing is so I've been, you know, messing around with the YouTube thing. The Ike D is live. Make sure you go check me out. Ike D is live on YouTube. Check out KBLP LLC podcast on YouTube. And then check out KBLP LLC4, that's this, right here, where you can get all these podcasts. And they're all amazing, they're all awesome, they're all interesting, and they're all worth your time, guys. And you'll get some great music from heavy metal to rock to rap to old school. You'll get some great, um, you got the um, audio drama Chain with Desiree Pickett. I think the, she's coming back January 23rd. Um, that's her return date for the second half of season two. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, there's a bunch of interviews. I'm going to ask her. So, um, put them on KBLP LLC, all the actors on that. There's a ton of actors on that guys. So, and then, uh, whew, I'm out of air guys. It, was, it felt like I was running. Dude, I was running and you know, exercising shit. My big old fat butt. Nah. I'm a gorilla. I was like, I felt I was like my big old hands. I got gorilla hands. Well, I walk around like a gorilla. The next track I'm gonna get to is uh the Ike Dog featuring Midwest Chopper. This is gonna be on my new album. The I have the full song, but I like just playing the instrumental because I like to practice to it. So when the instrumental is on, well, Midwest Chopper's on this instrumental. If you listen to his verse, he says uh, he says talk chopping it up with Ike Dog or something. I don't know what he's saying, but he has a good verse on there, so check it out. It's it's at 324, his verse. So make sure you check out Midwest Chopper. He's a he's a young Colorado artist that's doing pretty good. Got, got some, probably by now has 100 songs. I'm just guessing. Um, when I was running with them, they had 20, 30, 40 songs, so he has to have like about 100 songs by now. So check out his SoundCloud, his uh, iTunes, his uh, uh, YouTube, whatever he got his music on, it's Midwest Chopper, and and he was doing a ton of shows back then when they were running with me, but I don't know if there's still. I know he just said that he's gonna be doing this. I seen his Facebook. He's gonna be doing a show here pretty soon. So that's pretty cool. Shout out to Midwest Chopper. Midwest Chopper. That's gonna be a cool song. It's called Go Mob. Go Mob. Go Mob the Bank Out. You can ask them little to what I'm talking about. It's gonna be it's gonna be a tight track when when you guys hear it. When you guys hear it. and then and then I, I come to the city of smoke. So there's there 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 there's a um there there's a good backstory on this. This song this song has two hundred thousand plays on YouTube and the one of the reason why we hit the niche we hit the we put the reefer. My daughter did the video on YouTube. We put the reefer on the uh, the front, and I think that's why I got 200,000 views, you know. So 
it actually it actually hit everything it was supposed to. It ended up getting like thirty five four four thousand subs. It got like um, the hours on it. It got like three hundred fifty thousand view hours, or no, three hundred fifty thousand minutes is what I mean. Sorry about that, guys. So that it could be that channel could be monetized. The only thing is, it only has one song on there, "City of Smoke." So we're not even messing with that until we decide what we're going to do with that channel. But it's already it's already ready to be monetized because it already hit all the it hit all the numbers when it was time. Like if we were signed into it at the time, they said, "Well, you need to sign in now." If we would have known that song would have been uh that that channel right there would have been monetized already. But we didn't know. Like we didn't know about the changes. I didn't know about the changes on YouTube till like six months after. So <clears throat> I'm gonna get me some water real quick, guys. Hold on just a second. I'll throw on a I'll throw on a real quick jam for you guys while I'm grabbing me some water. And then I'll come back and I'll chop it up because I want to tell you the story about the city of smoke. And then hopefully, uh hopefully uh ch -ch -ch, the world of Vlad Brad, Zach Morrison, will be calling in. I didn't realize it wasn't that the wasn't that Zach's name from um Say by the Bell? I'm gonna have to ask him about that. Actually, I never I've never asked him about that. I'll have, have to ask him about that. But check this out. I'll be right back, guys. I'm gonna run and use the I'm gonna run and actually give me some water real quick. I represent for Colorado, I hold it down for rappers from Greeley to Denver to Alamosa. I represent what for Colorado, do? I hold it down for rappers from Greeley to Denver to Alamosa. I represent for Colorado, I hold it down for rappers from Greeley to Denver to Alamosa. I represent for Colorado, I hold it down for rappers from Greeley to Denver to Alamosa. Big game city to city, about the local YKE, a sick old D town OG. My baby mama want a Cadillac with the candy paint on green. So I'm selling CDs from city to city They know my name in Albuquerque They want me to smoke the sticky But tomorrow night I got a show in Kansas City I got a lot of beer drinking So what to do, I'm Mikey too On the cell phone booking flights to San Antonio They know how I roll Rocking a limo stretch up in Chicago I'm boss affiliated to make that dough I'm a powerhouse in Vato You didn't know Hoochies and hoes Screaming for Ike Dog at the Las Vegas Low Rider Show You know I'm Colorado hustling for mo. Freestyle battles down in Pablo C.O. So what's up it's Spooky and Schizo and R.I.V. O.G. Mr. Loco, I know you're up there rocking microphones while I hold it down for Denver, Colorado rappers making paper, making dough, making dough. KBLP LLC, check us out on iHeart, Speaker, YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, with the best podcasters in the business, Denise Harris, Chris Stevens, Michelle Auger, Ike Diaz, Desiree Pickett, Anissa Nicole, Cecilia Flores, Lolita Diaz, sponsored by TBS303.com. We are also looking for new podcasters, inbox any of our podcasters or me, Ike Diaz, directly on Facebook and someone will get back with you ASAP. I'm back like a John Alway comeback. <laughs> I can't even watch sports no more, guys. The Denver Broncos, it was a tough season. We still got to finish up the season. I think there's there's only a few episodes left of sports, so make sure you tune into sports with the awesome Denise Harris. She puts it in for sports, so make sure you check her out. She does a great job, guys. So make sure you tune in. I might be in a, I might be on one episode to finish out the season. And I know she has a co-host that she's working with, so make sure you check it out, guys. Um, real quick, uh, I'll just get, I'll just let you know about our podcasters, and I'll throw in at least one of their podcasts with them. Lolita Diaz, who does late Thursday nights, where, where she should be on right now, but I'm filling in for her. And then you have Denise Harris, who does Encounters, which is our basically our number one show. And she does sports, which is the like the one and two number one show. So she's pretty she's pretty good at what she does, guys. And she does a couple more. She does like three or four more podcasts. Uh, TWD when it's on. So American Horror Story. She does a few different podcasts. So make sure you check out Denise Harris. She's pretty awesome. Michelle Auger, who does Ecto and Planet Bob. Make sure you check that out. It's all about bug out bags. Uh, 
Planet Bob is you have to have a, you have to have a bag ready to make sure you have all the necessary items you need. And if something goes down, guys, you got to be ready to go. You know what I mean? You got to have a you got to have a medicine kit. You got to have some extra food and water. You got to be ready to go. We're in some we're in some times right now that are pretty shifty, pretty pretty crazy, guys. It's not this ain't the eighties and the nineties. We're we're in times right now where you might have to pack up and get get going. You know. So make sure you check out Planet Bob. They they do, they do so much stuff for prepping. Um, and then, you know, it's, it's whatever you need for your bug out bag. So make sure you check check that out, guys. So it's pretty it's pretty awesome. And then you got the the awesome, the freak, Chris Stevens with Freaks in the Basement. He's the one that does this for me. Check it out. I love this intro. You're listening to The Jam with Ike Dog. That's the freak, Chris Stevens. Make sure you check him out. Every Friday night, he'll be on tomorrow with... Um, the freaks in the basement. That is one of the that is one of the number one shows. It's been one of the number one shows for a long time. So make sure you check him out. Um, and then we get to Desiree Pickett, who has chain with uh, Anissa Nicole, who's been part of KBLP LLC for the last couple of years. Um, they do an awesome audio drama that you need to check into. You can check out Chain Season One. That's on speaker. KBLP LLC, and then now Chain Season 2. Uh, oh, sorry about that, guys. I was trying to turn that back off. Oh, sorry. Jeez. I told you I, I'm tired from that. When I, I got tired because it was so hot. I was sitting here sweating. I was in like a sweat room for a minute. But uh, anyway, Chain Season 2, the mid-season finale was just a few weeks ago. Make sure you check out the um, see the the um, chain season two second season opener, and that'll be on January twenty third. I could be wrong, but I will check my recheck my schedule. I'll, I'll put it in the the comments if I'm wrong. So check the comments later, um, just to make sure that I'm right, that I'm okay, that I'm flying, that I'm flying with you. I want to fly. But they have an awesome uh, podcast, so make sure you check out that show. And then you want to check out uh, The World of Lad Brad, Zach Morrison, who will be starting Saturday um, with his podcast. Um, let's see. I I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but it's going to be pretty good from what I understand. It's going to be pretty interesting, so I'm pretty excited to see. He's, he's actually going to fill in for me for three or four weeks. And then I'll come back with the jam, and then we're going to put him on another night or another morning. I think he said that morning was going to work for him, so you may be looking for him in the morning. And he does a, he does an awesome job. He has – I'm pretty shocked on his history of music because I'm, I'm, I'm about five years older than him, I think. I'm pretty shocked on his is history of music, and I'm pretty shocked on his history of wrestling. You know, I grew up watching wrestling. I'm not a wrestling fan. I don't even know who the wrestlers are now, but I grew up watching it, and it was a great time. And I, I'm pretty shocked that he actually he knows he knows more about wrestling than I do. But I have a I have a a good a good. <laughs> I remember them days. I used to watch them with my grandpa. It used to be so much fun every Saturday or Sunday morning. We used to get up early just to watch wrestling. Me and him. <laughs> He enjoyed it. I remember we took him to wrestling um, here in Colorado in the 90s, and it was like The Undertaker. He was in a three-man match against three, someone else. It was three-on-three. Three. You know how they used to call it the handicap match or whatever? It was The Undertaker, and I don't remember anybody else in the match. I really don't. I don't remember not one person. So I'm sorry about that, guys. Oh, so let me get to the – I hope I got everybody in the the, the the podcast. But And thanks to our promoters. You guys are awesome. Look out for Stephen Clark and Sonia Delgado. They're putting a Broncos group together. Those Broncos groups, they run year-round on Facebook. So um, they're going to have their own Broncos group. So make sure let's, you go by and support, you know, support the team. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'll be in there. So I'll be in there rocking and rolling all the time. I might be an admin. They might make me an admin. I don't know. It's, it'll be there. It's their group, so they're going to pretty much run it, you know, but 
I, everybody knows I was an admin in another group that I put a lot of time into, and it, it's kind of strange, you know. I, I've been an admin in a lot of Broncos groups, and it, it always boils down to the same thing. I watch it, and I watch it, and I know when it's coming. And I'm not an admin in the group no more, and I'm no longer a member of the group, and I no longer promote the group. I wish the group the best. I hope they do good. But I go look by it, and the numbers are like 25% of what it was when me and the rest of the guys were there. So I'm like, I wish you guys the best. I hope the numbers build back up. But I seen that happen to another group I was an admin in. When we left, their numbers just shot down bad, crazy bad. So I'm still huffing and puffing. I don't know why I'm doing that. Excuse me, guys. I got me water. <laughs> I might have to go outside for a while because we had the heat blasting when I got in the shower. So it was like, let me get into this real quick because it's already kind of late. I didn't, I didn't realize how late it was. I thought Zach would call by now, but I guess I was wrong. On a side note, at the end of this, I want to tell a quick story that I didn't tell on the the Ideas Live podcast, I did a, a, a podcast, and I didn't get a chance to talk about it, but I'm, I got to remember which podcast, or which um, which episode that was, I have to think back real quick. So I'm going to get over to the City of Smoke, there's there's two verses on this, and I think I, I got the, the beat I did, Ike Jr., when he was still doing beats, he used to do beats, my son used to do beats. And so I took this old beat from him, actually. I took this old beat from him, from his beats, and um, I used it. I made this song called The City of Smoke. So I took it over to Spooky's studio, tbs303.com. We recorded the first verse, and I thought it was, I, I listened to it about a thousand times. I thought, I was like, dang, this is one of the best songs I've ever done. And then, um... And then, I couldn't get back in, so I got a copy of it, a good, a good clean, clean copy. He actually had to email me it, and it took like two hours because I made sure he sent it to me in a file that I could uh, put it over into the studio and I could record with it. So, because um, I tried the... Uh, the copy, the CD burn copy, and then I always take my USB, I always take my USB over there to put everything on my USB, and I took a copy of a, a disc, I always take a disc, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, and uh, it didn't come out the way I wanted it, so he ended up sending me it over the internet, and it took forever, like, like you could see it, like, downloading, and it just would not download, like, it was, it was just taking forever, so, I finally got it. So the first half of the song was recorded with Spooky. It was awesome. Second half of the song I recorded here at my studio, which I didn't like the second verse. I didn't like the way it came out. But if you listen, when you listen to that song and you put it in the song, the car that bumps, it comes out perfect. Like boom, boom. It just has that throb, that throb. And it's there's no real message in it. It's just the city of smoke color, you know. We're, we're, we're one of the, we're, there's two states, Washington, Washington, Seattle, Washington, and Denver, Colorado, were the first two places to get, to legalize marijuana, to officially, I know it was in California in the South, and a few other places that, um, they had stores already, they had a medical, but we were the first one to open up actual stores, guys, here in Colorado and uh, Seattle, Washington. So it was, it was, uh, so I made this song from the city of smoke and I'm actually going to redo the song for the new album because like I said, I wasn't happy with the verse and the last verse, even though you play this song, what I might do is I might keep both verses and just add a verse, a third verse and put out the song like that on the new album because, uh, because that just go back, go and listen to it, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Just put it in a car. That if you got a car that throbs, got the got alligators in the trunk, put it in that trunk. It's a, like 
It's like, I'm trying, it's, I, I, this is how hard I'm trying to tell you. It's like, I'm going to send your little homie out there to go pull teeth out of an alligator. That's how hard this song is. The City of Smoke. So I would really go check it out. I'm not being big headed. I'm really humble and I'm really grateful. But go check out this song, The City of Smoke. <laughs> so I'm just going to play a couple more. I'm going to play um, I Dog Running It again. And I'm going to play City of Smoke. And then I'll play that Ike Dog featuring Shorty Lokes in, so that you guys can see the compa uh, the comparisons between him and Pimp C, guys. You can see the voices. But that's the story on, on that. On the other stuff I was going to talk about from that I missed talking about, it's my fault, so I'm going to have to save it for... I'm going to have to save it for... Excuse me. I'm gonna have to save it for the 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 ideas live. I'm just gonna add, probably have to add it in as a as a side note for what I'm talking about, guys. So just check out these songs. I have tons of songs, guys, but I can't play them on here because I'll get copyright strikes because they're they're with CD Baby, they're with iTunes, they're with all you know, the digital outlets. So if I play them on here, boom, they'll hit a copyright strikes. So these songs right here that I play, they're not with any of those outlets, so I won't get any copyright strikes on them. But if I played the other ones that I'm talking about, I'll get a copyright strike. So I got three songs to play for you guys. Have a great night. Look for the tutorial over the next, over the weekend. And then we're going to try to run replays on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. So uh, we might be running 24-7 over New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. So anytime that you're you got free time, just pop in and check out one of the podcasts. Just push the I'm gonna run that tutorial and then I'm gonna also uh um like I said, we we might we might go ahead. I know New Year's Day, uh, Michelle said she can go ahead and run it live the whole day. I'll just run podcast that day. So uh, make sure you check that out. God, let me my screen, my, my screen and my, what you call, went out at the same time. What are you doing? I got a gorilla in the back of me. Sounding like I got an alligator in the trunk. No, guys, have a good night. Don't be out there pulling alligator teeth out. I was just joking. That's something my Uncle Johnny would have said when I was a kid. Go out and pull alligator teeth out, and I'll give you a quarter. Now, have a good night, guys. KBLP, LLC, live ideas on the jam. Lolita Diaz should be doing the jam, but she's just walking around the house like a gorilla. No, I'm just joking. The jam with Ike Diaz. Have a good evening, guys. KBLP LLC. Check us out on iHeart, Speaker, YouTube, iTunes, Spotify. With the best podcasters in the business Denise Harris, Chris Stevens, Michelle Auger, Ike Diaz, Desiree Pickett, Anissa Nicole, Cecilia Flores, Lolita Diaz. Sponsored by TBS303.com. We are also looking for new podcasters. Inbox any of our podcasters or me, Ike Diaz, directly on Facebook and someone will get back with you ASAP. You're listening to The Jam with Ike Dog. Every day.
see you dropping it. Always up on the block, and you know that I just wanna come and get a taste of it. Five, two, eighty, we coming up in that room with a clip, emptying like all of it, dropping them bitches all up in the ditch. Yeah, that's just what I got to do. Three a.m., I'm doing it, fool. Yeah, I got a Glock and I cock it back, and you know I hit up in the room. I'ma do, I'ma do that straight, riding slow. Five, two, eighty, that's where I go. Drop them bombs, and you know I disarm car alarms, and then I go. Yeah, buddy, back in this bitch, just couldn't ever. That bait, that was the death, loving the shit, the shit, he's stuck in that tip, drunk, full of the hit, looking for what, ready to hit, girl stepping up in this bitch, dropping hoes, hit and run, stop and go, all my ladies dropping low, another Saturday, got to go, got a show, mom, blood, animal, baby, OC, can't stop it, you know, cop, jock, yo, gotta keep it, it you know, don't stop for hoes, but only money goes close, oh, oh, damn, ladies with sexy toes, haters don't stress me so, just like the joke, pussy beats and flow, gotta keep it tight for show, 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 gotta ignite the show, Facebook and like me, ho, y'all was keeping no, 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 Listening to the jam with Ike Dog. Filthy fat. The bomb click. Tbeats303.com. Spooky T on the beats. Shout out to Ike Dog. Ike Two Guns. Shorty Loke. Demo wise guys. Mile high wise guys. About to get you all wise down. There ain't no friends in this building. We knew that from the beginning, but people seem to be tripping because I can't make no millions. There ain't nothing but cut those. That's when I learned not to rock your boat. People seem to be high off hope. Five thousand for one note. I wish I had that kind of bank, bro. When you be on my tape, bro. I hear homies come and go. You can stay with I dog. I hit the dough. I told you bitches you're crazy. People get shady. It doesn't matter if five G's or two pennies. Pop just want they money. People cry for jump chains. I watched it growing up back in the days. I should have knew which way we headed. But seems that I neglected to keep the truth. In front of me, now I gotta make this delivery. Two grips of COC and I and E, and that ain't enough to make my payment back. G, these boxes are going off, making a million B, and there ain't no stopping me. I right, dog. He's about to get you all wised out. Chino Respect Rodriguez, United AWO Radio. Let me get a motherfucking AWO. AWO, AWO. I dog for real. I dog league. Chino Respect, Demo Wise Guys. 303 on your face. face, face. On a rampage, only 25 years of age. Ain't trying to get locked up in the cage because I want to really get paid. Releasing my rage on the stage. Y'all ain't ready for this rampage show. Loke is the dog. That's coming down now. I'm remaining the same. Maintaining these lanes. Trying to steal my fame. fame. Damn, fame. it's a shame how I came to the game. Unlike the rest, I beat the test. Smoking on the best in the wild, wild west. Where we ripping away your vest off your chest. Yes, I'm a beat coming from the E. Looking outside in, and I'm starting to spin. And I'm getting in a twist, and I'm flowing like the wind. And I'm hitting your mic like I'm hitting your son. Now you better start to run, cause I'm shooting this gun with the venom from my tongue. Invading your lungs, I'm collapsing I your don't. body. And now He's about to get you all wised out. Chino Respect Rodriguez, United AWO Radio. Let me get a motherfucking AWO. AWO, AWO. I dog for real. I dog league. Chino Respect, Demo Wise Guys, 303 on your face. KBLP LLC, check us out on iHeart, Speaker, YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, with the best podcasters in the business, Denise Harris, Chris Stevens, Michelle Auger, Ike Diaz, Desiree Pickett, Anissa Nicole, Cecilia Flores, Lolita Diaz, sponsored by TBS303.com. We are also looking for new podcasters, inbox any of our podcasters or me, Ike Diaz, directly on Facebook and someone will get back with you ASAP.
You're back live with ideas on the the GM KBLP LLC. I got I got I finally got Vlad Brad to call in. Vlad Brad, what's going on, bro? What's up, man? Hold on just a second real quick, all right? Hold on. Give me just a second. You're listening to The Jam with Ike Dog. You got Ike Diaz live. I got Vlad, the world of Vlad. Brad, make sure you subscribe to his YouTube channel. What's up, man? Yo, are you there, man? Yeah. You got to keep talking for me and let everybody know real quick, man. I, uh, I, uh, <laughs> I went in there. I'm listening for you. <laughs> and I can't hear you. We're live right now. KBLP LLC. Uh, sorry about the technical difficulties, guys. I'm, we're just, I'm trying to check something because he goes live Saturday and be his first podcast. So make sure you tune in to. The road of Lab Brad. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait to hear his first podcast. I was talking about your podcast this weekend, and and I didn't really know how to explain it. So explain it to everybody real quick. I'll be right back. Live 
life with ideas. What's up, man? Is that? Oh, I'm, I must have lost him in the uh, the melee, guys. Sorry about that. I was do, I was I was doing some technical. I was checking out some technical difficulties, and I couldn't get it to work right. But we will get this fixed. He'll be live anyway this Saturday, so make sure you check him out Saturday evening. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be a great time. So make sure you check it out. I'll let this song ride out, and then I will catch you guys later. Have a great night. The jam will be back full time. Um, in late January to early February. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. I appreciate it. Have a good night, guys. Later. Wait, cold legend, Mr. Ike Dog. We from the city of the smoke, but we don't call. We steady going slow and something classic just to show one. Ooh, when it's cold, like, hold on. All you other rappers act hard, but we know you're so soft. When you try to get some sleep and you doze off, we hit the streets and we go mob. You can see the flames coming from the exhaust. We get something different to the game. We under the city lights and we're switching in the lanes. You're still on your kitty bike, man, you're such a lame. You remain the same while we go again. It's the grain, that's where we increase the speed limit. Mopping in that horse covered someone like seed. This ain't man, you're such a gimmick. And me, you try to mimic. While I'm rocking my detail, town yeah. it. I'm so ambitious. Why won't I put the key in the ignition? Yeah. Rolling over the competition with my driven vision. Cloud for control of my path, I'm moving different. This is an addiction. Why you can't pass emissions? Cause you say in 10 position by blowing the transmission. With the missing in your shifting. The way I make the competition disappear. I should be a magician. Don't yeah. run against I ain't dog and it was chopper was a bad decision. You're listening to the jam with Ike Dog.